welcome back. Once again today I've got the uh, the Rolly Magic out, one of my favourite cameras. Uh, it does work, I've put film through it, it is light tight and the meter is working and accurate. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to load film. They're all pretty much the same actually, whether it's a Minolta Auto Cord, um, a Rolly. There's, there's quite a lot of different uh, types. The Yashica, the Yashica mats. Very very popular in their day. I'd say probably in the 50s and 60s was probably their heyday. Really in the 70s is when 35mm started to take over. Although rangefinders and 35mm cameras have been around for a long time. To open it up on the bottom here, we've got this slide. You can see the arrow indicator, that's also where the tripod socket is. So we slide this in the direction of the arrow. We lift this tab up and then we can open the back and here as you can see we've got the pressure plate it's 120 only it doesn't take 220 but you can't get 220 now anyway so it doesn't really matter this is where your fresh spool goes a nice little piece of springy metal to keep it uh, taut You've got these two red dots, they're quite important when you're loading the film, as you'll see. And at the top here, this is where the film will be wound onto. And normally there'll be an empty spool at the bottom when you finish shooting, and you just transfer that over to the top. These little catches on the side, when you push them in, you can see that it helps you get the spool in onto that one. The one on this side helps you get the spool into the top position. And you can see there's the gear that uh, makes it advance. So, let's put some film in the camera. So, this is 120 film. This is my sort of test demonstration film. This is how 120 film looks basically, it's just a roll of paper with some film in the middle of it. There's empty paper at the beginning and at the end. The film is quite well protected. But again, you want to be doing this not really in sunlight. So you peel off this bit of sticky tape. Move that over. You see on the end it's got a... Uh, Kind of screwdriver sort of looking thing. And that will fit onto there. And the same on the other side, you heard it click. So there's our roll of film. This is the leader. And we load it in this way round so that the backing paper is black on the inside, white on the outside. Here's the empty spool. This one goes into the top. So, again, what I'm going to do is actually, there's a slot in the spool. So, we load this leader, goes into the slot, and turn that clockwise until it catches. And then we put this one and there we go. So it's wound around this one over there. On the rolly flexes they have this what they call automatic system, which is where there's another roller. And that actually sits over the top of this paper. You have to feed it underneath the first roller and then over the next one. And the idea behind that is that that roller senses when the film starts. Because obviously the paper and the film make it thicker. And when it senses that, it automatically lets you wind on. It's quicker to load, apparently. But I don't believe that. Now on the paper... This is the end of the film, it's back to front. You'll see there'll be an arrow. And the arrow lines up with the red dots. Couldn't be any easier, really. And uh, you can see there, 
with the arrows lined up with the red dots. Once you see that, you can close the back up again. So it's done just by folding this catch over and moving this one back and just checking that it's actually engaged and locked. So the camera's now light tight. Lined on. And when this lever stops, you can return it to its storage position just by gently turning it back. And you can see on here it says 12 exposures and we're on number one. The shutter is cocked. Um, this is another basic model. It doesn't have a lock for the shutter release. So you need to be a little bit careful if you don't want to take one straight away. And the lock has sprung back out so that's locked. So that is loaded and ready to go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was useful. It doesn't only apply to this particular model or to Rollies in general. Any, any twin lens reflex, they're very similar in their design. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.